<laughs> Good evening. Uh, rock and roll time. Uh, I'll carry on with these fucking motorhead rails. <laughs> Last night, <laughs> I, I, I fell asleep and I just end up, I, I, I listen to murder shit on YouTube when I'm trying to crash it. It's probably one of those fucking need. But, uh, but it obviously just kept playing, kept playing, right? So I fucking woke up to somebody going, Justin Hawkins rise again, again. And I was like, the fuck is this shit? I put it on. And it was that guy, The Darkness. Remember The Darkness? It was his, he's got a fucking YouTube thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just him sitting there with stupid fucking hearts on and shit speaking about stuff and maybe using it. So I watched a few of them. And uh, he's quite a funny dude, eh? I mean, anybody watching this, you, you fucking know that I'm, I'm not going to be sitting here listening to the fucking darkness, right? There were cunts when it started, right? And then all that. But fucking story about fucking him calling Lemmy a cunt and Dave Grohl phoning Lemmy can read the rainbow with Justin was a photo and Justin's in a fucking chair himself and Lemmy's going <coughs> magic. But I watched it, it something just because it was quite funny again. So maybe I should have maybe I should go Dave Dave rides right again, rides right again. <laughs> Only joking. Right, that's all out of the way. Uh, I done the Moorhead albums yesterday. As I try to get past that fucking shocking fucking spiel of shit that just came out of me. Um, so, I'm going to do the Motorhead records that of their either live bootlegs or fucking uh, 12 inches. Because you've seen my 7 inches. <laughs> Stop it. Right. So, there ain't any fucking order. Right. This is Moorhead. <laughs> yeah, we know Dave, you said. Uh, beer drinkers on parole, instru and witch doctor. Fucking big beat Moorhead. It's pretty fucking old, but it's a good fucking nick. <laughs> Bit like me. <laughs> Anybody fancy a bum? Leave a comment. <laughs> Just a fucking fancy a bum. Fancy a bum. Right, let's go away for this Justin Hawkins shit. Right, that's one, right? It's a live bootleg. February 18th, 1978, at the Roundhouse. So much of a bootleg, it's only one half of a colour. Uh, it's a brownie, purpley sort of colour. Can't even remember if it's any good. It probably, was, probably sounds alright. 277 out of 500. I have a look at it, but. I just forget them, right? Or something. Uh, well, that shouldn't have gone here, because that's fucking on parole. The first one, but it's got the, the this is the one you lime to your votes. I need to lime the dog, lime the man, him. Right. Just the office, isn't it? You guys need to spend spare for more head than I do there. Just using the same fucking record, <laughs> the same cover in two hours. Fuck's sake, what's the more head single? The first one came <coughs> City kids on our side. Lyrics to Moorhead. I guess for fucking next and nothing. A second half. Chuck that. They'll kill your records, that shit. Get to fuck. I got fucking PVC hangs. Hang on. Bite him. Okay. <laughs> A 
should have thought that through before I threw it away to be fucking cool. Well, these fucking things. The fucking, the ones all stand up by themselves if you're going to against them. Not fucking the other ones. The polythene ones. Use, use the polythene ones. Not the fucking PVC ones. I seen a fucking YouTube video last night. And the guy was going, these things will kill your records. I was like, what the fuck's he going on with you? So I started using them for my vinyl. Bought a hundred of them. But I think I'm going to a few workers when you go through it. Some sort of chemical reaction with the fucking records when it's been sitting in a collection. And it puts mottling on your records and fucks them. So if you're using them, fucking chuck them. Tell them I said, I, I, I said it first and then I go, I think I'm fucking even more cool. I wonder if Justin. <laughs> Uh, boy, iron fish and a horse well. I mean, I dressed like dickheads. Huh? I mean, it's a fucking bootleg. But, I mean, that fucking photo session, that never happened until fucking 1982. And this is for what, 1970 fucking. 1978. Two. Aye. It's alright, you can mind it. Glossy bunny, oh fuck off. Fucking, fucking, oof. Fuck. My metal's black. It's plastic lame and weak. Quite a good quality boot, that's a heavy record, huh? It's almost as heavy as fucking the first start is all. <laughs> heavy. You can give a CD so you can see it. I'm done here fucking with that. Nice to get another one. PVC shit. I'll see if this fucking record's got any damage on it, considering it's been fucking, it's been fucking been in it for a while, isn't it? See, that. They're, they're alright, but that, that fucking dude, I'll find the fucking. Once I've done this, I'll find the fucking video and uh, I'll leave a fucking link in the description so that you can fucking look at it yourself and then fucking decide what you're going to do. I'm not taking the fucking risk, me. Fuck no. I'll be risking it enough fucking mentioning Justin Hawkins 17 times this fucking <coughs> this video. So. I apologise. More head. This is the Golden Years EP. Fucking beat like, obviously. Uh, that's fucking great though, it's fucking Iron Fist. It's fucking, it's not the Golden Years EP because I fucking should have had that on vinyl. Maybe I traded it to Drunk Stalkins. I don't know. Iron Fist, Hearthstone, Go to Hell, Peachy Kuchima, Dunny Religion, America, Turn around again. I got mine in the Dean, 33 minutes. Do you raw bone guitar, so you can't really fucking get on with me. That's a, a perfect deal. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking good album, man. So is this. <laughs> and then a perfect fucking tour. Dundee, Aberdeen, Glasgow, on the Edinburgh, fucking canal. Pull me out, isn't they can't fucking make them. They'll get hated the fucking album that came out. It was from 93, you never fucking liked it then, did you? No. I was even, I was what, how old was I? I was eight in 1983. Lemmy was 37. So I was not. I was too busy playing with Action Man to fucking worry about what fucking up, warty faced all comes did. Uh, but I, I got mine. One of my favourite songs. Turn you around again and tells a glory. Oh baby, it's the same old story. <laughs> Look at Phil Fugger's fucking shaved chest. Ha! <laughs> fucking hell. 
Yeah. Is one of my favourite songs of all time. It's got one of the fucking worst fucking covers of all time. Look at that shite. <laughs> Come on. Shine. Ding, 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 Ha! <laughs> fucking rock and roll tour, I think. Doctor Rock. Stay clean, traitor. Metropolis. I used to Metro fucking hate Metropolis. Like. Fucking hate it. Dogs. Ace of Spades. Eat the rich. Side B. Built for speed. No class. Stone dead for USA. He's a fucking beast. Kill by death and overkill. Uh, Big like photos of Lemmy, it's like well after 1980. Nay, nay, fucking heifer pin, you know, fuck all and fucking buy you another 12 inch. Uh, see, the 1960 year old, one single blues, Dead Man's Hand, Eagle Rock, and Shut You Down. They're all on it as well, three other songs. 90 fucking 90. I was 15. I wasn't even a motorhead fan in 1990. I mean, when I was at school, there was only like, there was only like fucking one fucking record shop in the area where I used to buy their albums from. And there was never any motorhead in it for some fucking reason. So the only motorhead I, I'd fucking heard. I never, I, 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 I never got into the motorhead till fucking after I got spasticated. So fucking that was like 1998, fucking eight. About the time. Uh, and then I just fucking bought all their albums, but but went to the same record shop, ordered two albums every week, and just bought them all up until I got them all. And then started getting the vinyls after that. But no, you just couldn't get a hard of fucking water, so it was no really, you knew Ace of Spades and I didn't fucking like them. What was that? Fucking, so 1990 now, fucking, 1990, I it's like Napalm Death and fucking Morbid Angel and all that stuff. Huh. <laughs> 15 hours. Yeah. Yeah, we can get. It's just a shame darkness when we're fucking. Oh, shut you. Right, here's another round. This was a two, 1992 2DP fee. This will be for the fucking uh, Hellraiser fucking tour. It's got You Better Run, it's got Hellraiser, You Better Run, Go to Brazil and Ramones in it. Because fucking, when you wrote that for fucking Aussie, didn't he? It was an Aussie version as well. Hi, Hellraiser. Hellraiser in the front of the team. It's, it's in good nick as well. Considering he's fucking... All the gigs that have been at, all the heavy metal gigs have been at, I've seen it made in 1990, but I was walking in, and uh, me and my mate went in, and we were looking at Jack's shit, every gigs are like, fucking sweating, fuck, I just found their seats, fucking heavy metal, yes, fuck it. Bought a fucking the tour programme, because there was somebody standing there, and bought that, like. and then, they never got t-shirts, and I never even seen fucking t-shirts, so, that was alright, so fucking, it was all, after I got hurt, and I started going to metal gigs. And it was alright, buying fucking, you could, if there's vinyls, and I could, like, there's no usually vinyls at the bigger gigs, kind But, uh, other wee fucking Darth Drain Core gigs, and I, you go to fucking, there's right at the roof, some kind of distro sound records. But it was alright, because I could put them in my bag, I've got a hundred bucks in the wheelchair. But it wasn't being at your fucking coupon at a gig. And you've seen a record, and I'm talking, let's be honest, I might always eat my coupon at a gig. But fucking, having to fucking fuck about and carry a record about as well, head bang, on fucking, <laughs> on fucking, like, fight of darkest fans. 
Uh, well, I digress. Alright, finish this one off with fucking two live bootlegs. Blues Brewers. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Ha! Got them on eBay. Uh, year 2000. So, uh, I think this would be nice for fucking, the, the fucking, I think I've seen them. I've seen them. It's 2000. We've seen Iron Maiden in November, Brave New World tour. And it was the ACDC the month after, Sif Upper Lip tour. But we never seen Motorhead until a year, a year later, the October. So in 2001, that's going to be the same fucking wet, the, the same fucking uh, stayed, well, uh, songs basically, for what I can fucking remember. We are Motorhead, Bomber, No Class, I'm So Bad, Big I Don't Care, Over Your Shoulder, Civil War, Metropolis, fuck off, Lenny. God save the Queen, Born to Rave Hell, Raise Hell, Stay Out of Jail, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Can't imagine, you know. Sacrifice or Gazma Strong, Go to Brazil. And then Iron Fist, Kill by Death, Ace of Spades, and Overkill. <laughs> Shoot the vinyls out. Now put the spell on you. Mint. Mint. If you want to remember, it's got a good fucking sound, this. As well, actually. Right, and put it, who's got fucking, and try and go up. I'll do a cheeky, I'll, I'll do a quick cheeky fucking collection update while we're here then. Right, first off, I've got the first darts up. <laughs> Keep mentioning the darts. Uh, drink a coffee. Eh. Uh, so, Bloodbath, Breed and Death EP, reissue, fucking piece of honour, yeah, let me edition red vinyl, old school buzzsaw brutality for shooting his death metal masters, and it was fucking, wasn't even, it fucking side split that, I was fucking pissing myself, I was going ye, fucking, red wax, they spun this year. Do you need fucking bloodbath all a minute now? I fucking like bloodbath. Yeah, I'm sure it's bloodbath. And then I'd forgotten all about this. <laughs> I remember when this came out, it's fucking. Oh. I can remember being like, that Paul White is going, oof, it's you, sir. <laughs> and Alan Mathrak, the Codex Necro. Fuck. Oh, when this came out, I put it on, it was like, fucking Jesus. Oh. That was fucking just pounding. It's on Metal Blade. Was it even fucking Eric to start with? Fucking shit it was. It's another, it's another sleeve, but anyway. Yeah. Oh, music, blasphemy. Oh, that's what. And I'll not throw up, please. No, please. Fucking Tech Necro exclusively. Abs uh, thanks, list, absolutely fucking no one. Don't ask for lyrics. I'll not throw up, will never be published. Hail the Necro Warriors everywhere. Fuck everything, must be played fucking loud. You won't fucking do that anyway. Mick Kenny, you fucking dick. I went to see Alan Rothrock, right? And fucking Ivory Box, it was. Glasgow. And, uh, it's fucking handy, Ivory Box. There's, there's a fucking barrier. There's a nice niche bit in the corner. I can just sit here, so there's a more spit can happen. But I'm in the fucking front row. So I'm sitting here, I'm waiting for fucking the gig to start. Mick Kenny's like standing like fucking there. Setting up his t shirt with his fucking skin tight scum t shirt. All ginger and stuff like that. Fuck it, let's ask him, can Because that other band, that fucking band Frost, that you, that you had at the same time, that black metal band, 
it was my necro, it was my traditional, well, like, black metal, only like this fucking savagery. Uh, but then, I, I heard they were, they were split or something, right? So, I said, here, Mick. And he's like, yeah, mate. And I, went, and I asked him, and he goes, fucking, he goes, I don't bother me, he's got a fucking sort of guitar on it. He went like that. Oh. I goes, you fucking dick. I goes, you're a cock. You fucking cock. Paying his fucking wages when going to his gig. How you had to say was all you knew. I was asking about Frost. And I get him fucking cheap guitar. I went, oh, fucking. I goes, you're a fucking cock. <laughs> and then he played the other side of the fucking, other side of the stage away from me. I was like, cause I, I just saw him went like, oh, do I hear like, prick. Fucking prick. I mean, fucking. Oh, he was tuning his guitar, but all you had to do was go, oh, no, mate, that's over, or whatever, or just fucking whatever. Whatever, but now nah, he fucking went like that. I was like, you fucking play. If you'd done it outside in a fucking street, <laughs> I'd have fucking hoiked him in the nuts. Fucking bell end. I don't know. And I mean, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> There's another gig I was at Dowry Blocks, right? And uh, it was I Hate God. And uh, the same thing's happened again. I'm sitting there. Jimmy Bauer, the Bauer, sitting there, two guitar, reeking his fucking joint up, right? I was with my coupon on MDMA. And uh, I went, hey, yo, Jimmy. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, brother. And I went, uh, What's your crack? We fucking uh, see a joint uh, 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 and he goes, What's that, mate? And I went, uh, 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 and super dry, right? and fucking he's like, Look at that. And my wee brother, he's there, and he's like, He's like, Oh, he's asking if there's going to be any more super dry ritual. <laughs> Had to get somebody from Banff to fucking translate for me. <laughs> but Jimmy Bauer never went, Yeah, get the fuck. He's seen it all before. He's a smart kid for fuck's sake. So. So fucking, so you see me meeting your heroes, I would say that, but Mick Kenny's not a hero. Justin Hawkins. <laughs> and then, uh, right, so, Colin's collection update. Uh, I'd forgotten, I got, I'd, bought, I'd bought this album. Band for USA. Bones. Death metal band. Been for years. I'd bought this fucking box set thing, right? It's not transcending obscurity label. They put you some decent fucking stuff. So in this box, eh, there was fucking, there was some stickers came in. Must be fucking other transcending obscurity albums I hate check out. Live burial. Fuck knows what that says. The loop or the loop or some fucking check it Deep to find this. And uh, there was a sampler, a label sampler. Heaps of bands. There was one called Death Fucking Cunt. <laughs> I was straight on the Spotify to check out. <laughs> Let's see what this is. It's fucking brutal. But I'll check out that anyway. Anyway, Buck the Bones. So the CD is called Deceased. It's like death metal, but I say blast beaty, fucking, boom, fucking mental, fucking deranged, fucking savagery. It's very like Celtic Frost playing death metal kind of. We motorhead, wanking over him. Yeah, here you go. A fucking digi pack. Decent artwork to you. They're, they're the fucking cool, cool dudes. What's on the fucking Facebook? Ah, it must be fucking. Must be years since I've been off Facebook. But uh, they were putting t-shirts on my mate. They were putting t-shirts on. Oh, just for t-shirts. And I left a comment going, "Any fucking long sleeves, like." Fuck's sake. And, uh, cause I do like a long sleeve. And, uh, I got a fucking message back, guy, a private message, and the dude's like, hey, hey, buddy, you, uh, you wear a fucking long sleeve? Just give us your fucking size up. So print a long sleeve just for me. <laughs> Aye, fucking legends. Bones. Badge. Aye, sticker. Oh, rock on it. <laughs> a fridge magnet. And then a fucking signed fucking ticket by the band for authenticity. And uh, 
Well, that's fucking marvellous. Yeah. Fuck off. That's pish. Nah, fucking. Just fucking the video. Earlier on, there was a fucking plectrum in it. A bones plectrum. And I've lost it. <laughs> fucking a retard. Ah, there's it. In it. Oh, look, it's inside that. Fucking wanker. Bones. So I fucking fridge mug in it. Pretty cool. I was gonna solve the day when I was in the fucking shower. I think it was alright. Well, the other two are alright, eh? There's only a third of them. But. Uh, and check out you. I, I got through Bond Camp. Because like, that transcendent was great. I mean, I said, if you're all with each other, it was a fucking clamshell box set version. I've got a few of them. Uh, oh, I use a poster as well. And what was good about that was. It was folded, but it was a folded rigidly down so it looks like fucking pish. I've had it under these two box sets since I got the fucking thing, see how flat it is. Oh no. That's what <laughs> I was gonna try pulling it out there. Aye, oh, the fucking the poster name of you dirty cunt. Right. Motorhead. It's been under motorhead tonker and sickle tuner, so it should be flat as a flat as a fucking as a fucking eh. Uh... Yeah, that's not bad. But it was, but it was only folded like that, okay, so. I might put that up now. I might put that in a frame, so I think it's not going But it's pretty shit, because it's not fucking flat, do you? <laughs> You're shite, and you know where you are. Right, that being said, I'm going to fuck off. Uh, what time was it? Quarter past ten. Eh, I might do another tricky video. Just for the fucking crack. Eh. Aye, because well, I'll be part three of that motorhead one. I mean, I'll, I'll just show you because I've got CDs. You know, but there's all different versions of shit in that, so I'll show you them. Eh. Right, I'm gonna fuck off, so I'll put a link in about that sleeves and that as well. And I'm whittling shite over you. Okay. Alright. Alright, be good. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side.